Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Taco. I thought I would take a moment today to share with you a very unique problem. I've serviced an awful lot of reels over a long period of time, and I have to say I have not seen this issue before, and it's happening on two fishing reels that Alex from North Carolina has sent in. Now, Alex told me that he's got a reel here that's difficult to let line out on, and when it's in gear, well, it's difficult to turn. Now, believe it or not, this gear side was just serviced. I just took it apart and serviced it, and when it's off the reel, it spins fine. Well, he has a uh, Triton 100G with the same performance issue. It, uh, it's not uh, letting line out easily, and uh, well, he asked me to do two things. He asked me to replace the drags, and he asked me to fix this line spooling issue. And uh, a little background uh, to that. Alex takes these reels fishing in the winter time to the Philippines. I don't know how hot it gets there and I'm not sure where the reels are stored, but I think one of the primary causes uh, to that is that the heat is evaporating the greases on the drags and, and they're kind of getting frozen in the main gear. That's the drag issue. We're going to fix that by replacing them with carbon tex washers. But the other side here is again something that's curious. It probably is heat related. I'm unsure, but I wanted to show it to you just because, well, it's a curiosity that, uh, well, it'll go into my memory bank now in terms of something that could be the issue. But uh, for the longest time, I was just kind of a head scratcher. Well, if you like the art of real repair, if you like to understand how reels are made, a little bit of the mechanics behind them, and more importantly, how to service your reel yourself, then I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe to my channel, please use the uh, button to, uh, for notifications. It'll show you when I'm posting videos, and you'll be able to make a decision as to whether that's something that you want to watch or not. We've taken out the four side plate screws. And now we got to get to this because this is the cause of the problem. Look at this. As much as I try to turn this, well, it's, it's very difficult to turn. And again, with the side plate serviced, you can see that reel is just flying nice and easily, right? So it was a process of elimination. There was only one thing left in that cycle. Well, there was two or three things. But there was one in my mind that was the that led me to this idler gear. So we're going to take this apart. We're going to show you what the issue is, and uh, by process of elimination, we're going to replace that uh, as soon as those ordered parts come in. Well, I wanted to do uh, two or three looks. One of them on the hard turn was: is the pole working fine? And uh, when I took it off, I spun the gear drive of the line guide mechanism and the pole and the line guide are operating properly. This has nothing to do with poor performance, so I had it eliminated that. That left me with this. And as I, as I mentioned, I, I can hardly turn that thing. And uh, that's the cause. Well, let's show you what the main issue was within that cause here. Well, if you have any questions on uh, real repair, maybe you're working on one, and uh, you just a little stumped in terms of how to uh, how to correct an issue. Maybe you're lost. Maybe you've taken a reel apart and you can't remember how to reinstall some of the pieces. Maybe you have a problem like this where it's just a head scratcher and uh, we can't figure out what the issue is. Well, if you leave that in the comment section, I'll try and answer that for you. Well, let's go see if we can't get this line idler gear off. And you're going to see on the back here, this, this is a kind of a curious piece, but there's a ferrule here, and that ferrule has a, a hex. It's uh, six-sided, and of course, if it was just running on a flat surface, you'd say that doesn't make any sense, but embedded in the side plate here is a cavity that will accept that hex nut, which means that that, that hex nut has to be fixed to the side plate, and this gear has got to spin on that hex nut. Well, doing my uh, my due diligence, I tried a little pliers to grab the hex nut and turn it. And you can see it can turn, 
but my gosh, is that difficult to turn. So what's happened here, the real cause behind the issues, is that this plastic has swollen and choked that, uh, that little furrow in there. I tried pulling it out. I can't. Uh, I tried pushing it out. I didn't want to damage the, the gear set, but I tried pushing it. It's not coming out. That means that it's swollen around there, and it shouldn't be. It should be hold this piece here and turn it or spin it very easily. So that's the issue. And uh, the only way to solve that issue, quite honestly, is to replace that part. There are some things, sometimes you'll find an Ocean City handle. That's another one where this is absolutely a, a, a problem, where the Ocean City handle is probably made out of a similar plastic kind of material. The stem swells around the metal pivot point on the handle shaft, and you can't turn that, uh, that at all. Sometimes you can free that Ocean City one with heat. In this case, I don't know how you would uh, use a heat gun and not destroy the gear. But regardless, some, most of the time the, the issue comes back and it's just better to go replace the part and, uh, and get it done properly. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put the, the pieces back together on this. We're going to go, we've already gone and ordered those parts, but I just thought this was one of those curiosities where I would take a moment to do that video for you to show you what that issue is and to show you how to solve it. And sometimes the only solve is to get the replacement part. So uh, I don't know if any of you have run into this before. I found it unusual on the one wheel. And Dawn, if there are two wheels that Alex sent, and both of them have the identical issue. It uh, doesn't let the line out because the uh, that, that furrow shaft is frozen to that um, idler gear. So again, I don't know if it's the heat in the Philippines. I don't know. Maybe it's stored in a hot shed out there. Maybe it's in a boat hole with hull which gets hot. I'm just uh, kind of at a loss. I guess I'll, I'll learn more from Alex on that. But uh, in the meantime, it's just a curiosity. So in addition to checking your normal pieces, when you're finding a reel is hard to turn, make sure it's not the gear side. I mean, test the gear side. The obvious one in the gear side is it's just old frozen hardened grease. We've seen that on a lot of spinning reels. But that's not the case with this one. Remember to check your line guide. That line guide oftentimes will have uh, grease in, that, in the tracks that's slowing it down. Sometimes it has a damaged pole that's slowing it down. Sometimes even this line guide is bent in the track. This track uh, needs to align with a hole here before we can put that side plate back on. So sometimes it's as simple as that. The track is, has become over tightened or that. But in this case, as I was doing the diagnosis, none of those applied. We had to go deeper, and we found there's only one place to go deeper, and that's that idler gear, which uh, will be replaced. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, I hope that, uh, you can share your experiences with us in terms of if you find something that's rather unique and unusual in a fishing reel. And uh, we'll uh, catalog that, and we'll understand. So we're back on here with this. And notice the, the, how hard it turns, as opposed to the, the free spooling without that uh, line guide issue. So we'll, uh, we'll solve that one, and I uh, hope you've enjoyed that. This is uh, Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. I want to wish a special thanks to all of our first responders for what they do day in and day out to keep us safe. And to everyone, uh, just wish you great fishing. It's the time of year to do that. Uh, we're going to get these reels serviced and back to Alex so that he can take him with him to the Philippines. And uh, we're going to take some time ourselves to go do some fishing because the time is right. The fish are here. The season's upon us. I wish you all the best in terms of fishing. Remember, turn up your reels and make sure you take a friend fishing. This is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Have a great day.